This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. All right, time now to check in with the women's soccer program here at Liberty. And for more on that, let's catch up with the head coach, Lang Wiedemeyer. Uh, coach, an exciting time for your program right now. A lot of change happening at the moment. But before we get to that, let's talk about the spring and an exciting uh, time for your team. You played some home games here, but then also had the privilege to go to Costa Rica on a missions trip. Uh, how much did that uh, help your team come together and uh, what kind of a change will that make for the upcoming year? It was a fantastic trip. We've been trying to do something like that for quite a while and very lucky to have LU Sen. And then we work with an outside organization called Push, Push the Rock uh, to coordinate everything. So we were down there for a little over a week and you know, we got to go into schools and do soccer clinics and work with kids, which was very uh, fulfilling and uh, just kind of pour into them. Uh, we got to play a couple games, which was great to play some different kind of uh, in that type of culture and got to do a few tourist things, too. So it was a great mix of things for the team. Uh, we, you know, every night we come together, um, girls would share their testimonies and kind of open up and be vulnerable. And I thought that was one of the most powerful parts of our trip that really brought the team together. Yeah, did you see a difference in some of these young ladies when they got back here? I think it really enabled us to get closer. I mean, we always talked about being kind of a family and having that environment, but uh, when you open yourself up to all of your teammates in that way, uh, that, that um, connection just goes a lot deeper, and I thought that was a real positive. How about the competition your team saw in the spring, uh, the games down there, and then the, the six home games you were able to play here on this field? Yeah, it was great. I mean, everything outside of being in Costa Rica was at home. To be on our home field was wonderful, and um, some really good competition. We were able to play in the teams like VMI, uh, Longwood, Richmond. Uh, we capped it off with a game against uh, Virginia Tech, which was really good. So a good mix of some local teams, some teams we're going to see this fall, and uh, I thought our players really progressed, especially with kind of our formation and style of play. I thought they really took big steps forward this spring. And you, you lost a good number of seniors from last year, a, a team that kind of gelled late in the season, came together and won, I think it was five out of its last six in the regular season before going on to the ASUN tournament. This year with uh, so many new players, uh, as you kind of turn the page, what's the focus kind of been? Well, I think this spring really helped that. So we lost some very good players, certainly from that senior class, um, some players who played major roles for their whole career. So, uh, But the new players coming in, I think it gave – uh, this spring gave them a chance to really kind of uh, gel. We had some personnel and positional pieces that we had to kind of sort out, and I thought some players really stepped up in that regard. Uh, we played uh, some players in some different positions to give them some experience for the fall season. Uh, so I thought, uh, I thought all in all it was a real positive for us. And some changes on your coaching staff here as well. Yeah, some blue Absolutely. We have two new assistant coaches, uh, Brandon West and Audrey Atkinson, that came in in just December, or uh, really uh, in early January. And uh, they've been fantastic additions to our program. Uh, both are really committed, hardworking. Uh, they've connected with the players uh, and gotten very close. And uh, we really think that they're going to make a difference for our program moving forward. Last couple of things here. Let's talk about the schedule some because uh, it's, it's a good one. Uh, how was it constructed? You've got uh, Clemson coming in here in an exhibition game. You've got games at Virginia Tech and UVA, and then you've got Pitt coming in here later on this year as well. Yeah, I think that uh, some of it's just connections with me personally with some of those coaches. I think some of it's them respecting uh, Liberty and the type of program that we're trying to build, and uh, and some of it's just good timing. So it's uh, it's been great to be able to – uh, have some of the caliber of those teams you know that are going to Sweet 16s that are nationally ranked in the top five, like a UVA who could win a national championship in any given year. Um, so it's been great to have those on our schedule. It gives us a great challenge and something to really focus on. And a good mix of home and away, I feel like, as well, before you get into the conference schedule, which starts on September 26th at Jacksonville. Yes, that'll be uh, tough, you know, being able to go away like that and play two games in Jacksonville. But uh, we hope that our non-conference season is really going to prepare us for the rigors of the A-Sun and all the travel that we'll face, and we're looking forking forward to it. All right, Coach, appreciate the time, and uh, wish you the best of luck here going forward through the summer months.